Hey guys, welcome back. Sunday evening update. Been having a blast down here in the shop, assembling things. Got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. The base, the enclosure, the column over here. All right, so here's the column. It's a little overview. If I can get this damn camera under control, I'll get right with the program. Let's flip on the other side. The light is bothering me. Ooh, much better. So yeah, the rails are on. Got the caps on the right way. Um, the head spacer is bolted on. Um, this was a piece of Mike 6 uh, casting ground. I think it's done on like a Blanchard grinder or something that leaves a pretty pattern. Um, two inch. Uh, this is the little snout that goes into uh, the back of the head. That's what it used to sort of pivot on. And then this is a stud that's uh, Loctited into the uh, saddle. And then the three bolts. So it should make for a pretty tidy arrangement. And oh, the head spacer uh, is also, it's got one, two, three, um, three of its own fasteners. So yeah. Uh, Got the screw and everything all dialed in, and yeah, things things look pretty promising. It uh, it turns like really uh, really easy. You could actually uh, uh, back drive the screw if you go and you know pull on here and sort of put your knee against the end of the column. You can uh, and drive the screw through the. Uh, the rail, so um, it's pretty good, yeah. And there's no tight spots or anything, so we're gonna call that a wrap. And next step for that is to uh, marry it to the base. Speaking of the base, let's go take a gander at said base. The base. The base. Take a little tour. Pardon the uh, freehand work. So yeah, things are stupendous. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say. Here's the base with the. Uh, Rails on there, screw. You can see this is what feeds the uh, Y screw. Hit this thing with your grease gun, you know, a couple times a week, and uh, it comes through the saddle, feeds through here and then down and then into the ball nut. And uh, it also, from here, branches off and feeds the X as well. And, the rails use the same thing. There's a needle, uh, a needle zerk, and you just pump those a couple times whenever you're using it. Pretty simple and clean, and uh, yeah. This is what the front tin sort of covers hook to. Same with this. Last thing I put on was the saddle or the Y um, oil manifold and that worked out pretty well. I remember earlier in the project when uh, there was still regular ways on the X axis, there was some concern about oil metering or the lack of oil metering. And sort of funny in the end, it sort of semi uh, rectified itself as we uh, slowly but surely uh, removed dovetails so now the one shot oil pump is only feeding the y-axis so 
should work. Hopefully, if not, we'll figure it out. No biggie. There, yeah, and then there's the block spacer. So the next step um, of assembly would be to actually uh, put the bellows on and then uh, bolt the column on. It's just as easy to put them on after than it is before you put the saddle on. So the cars right here on the saddle, um, this has all been uh, aligned before the, the rails were removed. So um, yeah, we'll go look at the table here in a second, but the rails were aligned and then uh, the saddle and everything was all uh, bolted up and uh, torqued down. Everything's taken off now and they slide out and these are the, the keepers that you put in there when you don't have the rails in. They just slide out. You can see the balls in there. Um, so yeah, the order of assembly on this is to get the cars on the saddle and then you take the table off and uh, then put the saddle onto the base. And then when that's done, uh, and you can just slide the table back on. So it's a little, uh, it's a little uh, quirky, but that's uh, just due to um, retaining the uh, stock saddle and getting these cars on there and everything that was involved with that. So um, I guess the way to avoid this would have been to use uh, flange cars, but as we uh, talked about in other videos and various, uh, conversations on the uh, CNC zone. The flange cars uh, are physically wider, so there's the flanges so the four cap screws can hold them on. And uh, that requires you removing a bunch of material from the table. And uh, so that's the trade-off. A stiffer, more meaty table for a little uh, quirky assembly, but I think we'll uh, make out all right. Let's go look at the table. Dinner's ready. For real, though. Is your dinner ready? If it's Grizzlies, it is. <laughs> Here's the table. Uh, yeah, so that's been all aligned and uh, all the screws are tightened down. Put the caps in, then you can uh, slide it onto the base, or then I can slide it onto the base. So, I think that sums it up. Stuff over here, head, some various sheet metal. I think that's about it. I'm planning on uh, getting the head or the uh, column on the base next. Uh, spindle, yeah. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. So, thanks everybody. Um, We'll catch you in the next one, and feel free to subscribe. Thumbs up if you liked it. Catch you later.